Hey guys, so if you didn't know, <laughs> I play The Sims. Um, and I was thinking about this summer and um, how even though I'm glad Foundations is over, I'm really, I'm really gonna miss you guys. Um, I know we're gonna like see each other or um, talk to each other, but we're not really gonna see each other until next semester. So I thought it'd be fun since I have some free time before the the uh, new or the summer semester starts um, to make us in Simland. So here we are. I named us the counseling crew. Um, so I'm going to show you guys. So I made all of us. I made a sim for everyone. And I also built us a house. <laughs> um, so here we are. Um, I, I picked the biggest lot. <laughs> And uh, it took me a long time. So anyways, I'm going to click on us. Here we all are. Um, please don't like be mad at me if you don't like how your sim looks. <laughs> um, I did like the best I can. I feel like I suck at um, like making sims look like the actual person. There's some people on YouTube that do like perfect like um iterations but i am not one of those people <laughs> um so anyways i did the best i can um if you guys absolutely hate how you look um i will change it but anyways here here's everyone um i wonder can can you guys pick see who's who so do you know who is who this person is giving someone the sad eye I think I've shown everyone. I bet you guys can't pick who everyone is. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I I hope it's obvious who everyone is. But anyways, uh, I'll give you guys a closer look um, in Creative Sim. Um, but I just I just thought it'd be fun. I am um, to do something like this. So. Okay, so this is obviously Ashley. Oh, hello, Ashley. <laughs> um, so in The Sims, if you guys aren't familiar, um, you can pick an aspiration, and then you pick traits for everyone. So if you'll see, um, Ashley only has two traits. Sims um, normally have three traits. The reason why she has two traits is because everyone except for one person is a teenager. Um, the reason why I made as teenagers is because teenagers go to high school. And I thought that that would kind of be, like, the best, um, way for us to pretend like we're going to college. <laughs> um, but the, the downside to that was, um, in Sims you can't move teenagers into a house without an adult. So I had to make one of us a young adult. Um, can you guys guess who that person is? Brandon is the lucky winner. <laughs> Um, but, um, if you guys want me to, I can age him back down to a teenager. So anyways, so this is Ashley. Um, I tried to pick clothes. I mean, cause like, I mean, there's obviously a, um, there's a shortage or, or, um, I mean, there's only a limited amount of clothes that you can do. Um, so so I picked this, um, and then, so the aspiration, I made you a friend of the animals, because I know you love animals so much, and then, um, I also made you outgoing, and a dog lover, lover, <laughs> lover, <laughs> um, so anyways, those are the, um, the traits that I gave you. So this is your everyday, formal wear, athletic wear, sleepwear party wear, and swimwear. So there's Ashley, everyone. Okay. Next is Daniel. Hello, Daniel. Get a close look at yourself. Um, again, guys, I know that this does not look exactly like you, but I, tr I did my best. Okay. So um, here's Daniel. So because you're getting married soon, I, your aspiration is to find your soulmate. Um, and I made you a mu music lover and cheerful. I actually had everyone as young adults, but then I decided to age you back down for teenagers. Um, but when you become a young adult, you get that third trait. So anyways, here's your everyday, your formal wear, your athletic wear, 
your sleepwear, your party wear, and your swimwear. So there's Daniel, everyone. Here is Miss Chelsea. Hello, Chelsea. All right, so I made your aspiration a bodybuilder, and your traits is that you love the outdoors and that you are active. So here is your everyday wear, your formal wear, oops, <laughs> sleepwear, athletic wear, party wear, and your swimwear. All right, next is Miss Kelsey. Here she is, everyone. All right, so Kelsey, I made your aspiration a renaissance sim, which basically means that you want to be good at, uh, like, good at multiple things. Um, and then I put that you're a vegetarian. I know you're not, but we were just talking about the things that you can and can't eat. So I thought that was kind of fitting in sim world and that you are good. Oh, and your outfits. <laughs> so here's your everyday outfit. Your formal wear, your athletic wear, your sleep wear, your party wear, and your swimwear. All right, next up is Brandon. And Brandon has the three traits because he is a young adult, but I can turn him into a teenager if that's what you guys want. So his aspiration is musical genius, and I made him creative, a music lover, and that you love the outdoors. So here's your everyday, formal, athletic, sleep, party, and swimwear. Right next is Lindsay. Here's a close. Oh, I didn't give a close up of Brandon. I don't think. I'm sorry, Brandon. Here you are. I hope it kind of looks like you. <laughs> All right. Here's Lindsay. All right. So for your aspiration, I put that you want a big, happy family, and that you love the outdoors, and that you are cheerful. So here is your everyday. Your formal. Your athletic. Your sleep your party. So <laughs> story behind this super quick. Um, so the game automatically generates an outfit for all the Sims. And this was, this one was automatically generated. And I have no idea if you would wear something like this. Like I probably wouldn't put you in something like this or like not in black at least, but the glasses and the elephant necklace, I just couldn't. I, <laughs> you have like tons of makeup on too. Do you want that much makeup on? No. Anyways. <laughs> so that's why you're wearing that. If you hate it, I'll change it. And then swimwear as well. So, and then I made me, I know this looks nothing like me, but anyways, <laughs> um, I put um, best-selling author for my aspiration and that I was a music lover and creative. So here's my everyday, my formal, my athletic, my sleep, my party, and my swimwear. So that's the whole gang, guys. I hope, <laughs> again, I hope it even somewhat resembles everyone. I, I did my best. If you absolutely hate how you look, I'll change it. <laughs> I can do that with cheats. So anyways, all right. So here we are. Look at our view. Well, get it out of the way. Look at the view we have. So there's like the town over there, the actual town. And there's like sailboats, we're on, you know, an island, and we have the biggest lot. So, Simo. <laughs> I just thought that was funny. And the lot was so huge, I just had to fill it up. So anyways, this is our house. I built this house. Um, there was a house on here um, that I was going to use. Why is my window over there? Um, but anyways, there we go. Well, my cheats are off. Anyways, it's fine for now. Um, this took me like two hours, maybe. Two hours, maybe. So anyways, um, but we each have our own bedroom and, and that stuff's cool. I'm going to save that for last. But anyways, I want to give you a tour of the house. So you walk in. All right. So you walk in into our living room. I gave us like, let me put the walls up. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Anyways, um, I gave us, like, the biggest TV without, like, putting an actual theater in here. <laughs> um, and then there's, like, um, our Xbox or PS4 and our little stereo and stuff. So there's a living room. 
Um, here's a kitchen. Um, we have popcorn maker, tea maker, coffee maker. Um, and I really hope that um, Ashley can make some oatmeal cookies in here because that was delicious. Um, this is the dining room. Um, we have a seat for everyone, so hopefully um, our Sims will all come and eat together. I highly doubt that'll happen, because if you play the Sims at all, you know how difficult that can be, <laughs> unless I actually force them to. But anyways, I really should put some paintings. Anyways, so this is our hallway of rooms. So everyone has, like, the same door with different colors. <laughs> so anyway, so like... I basically, what I did was I picked like the same wallpaper, but just like different colors. And I tried to make um, uh, like just different colors for each room. So um, also, I know that almost everyone has pets. and But here's the thing. And I have pets in The Sims. I have the expansion pack. But you cannot have um, like, like see these little slots? Like we could only add one more person in here. So I couldn't add everyone's pets. So what I did was in each room, I put a sticker of like a pet. So like, um, so I was thinking, well, this kind of tells you whose room I was thinking was whose. So I was thinking that this would be Ashley's. So I put a dog. I was thinking this was Lindsay's. So I put a dog. I was thinking this was Kelsey's. So here's a cat. I was thinking that might be Chelsea's room. So there is a dog. Um, I was thinking this would be Brandon's room, so there's a cat, my room, a cat, and Dan's room, a dog. So, now I'll show you <laughs> the rooms, and then I added one, like, personal thing, um, in each person's room to kind of, like, um, just add a little bit of personality besides just the, uh, colors. So, um, again, I was thinking this would be Ashley's room. <laughs> And I put a little fishbowl because I know um, that you like animals. Um, so I didn't know how you felt about fish, but purchase fish. Do you want a goldfish, a tetra, or a guppy? Just let me know which kind, and I'll get it, I'll get it for you. We have plenty of money. So anyways, um, so then I was thinking this might be Lindsay's room. And so the little personal item I put in here for you was a meditation board because you just did the exercise on the coping skills. So I thought you, your sim might like that. The next one I put, um, or I think might be Kelsey's. I put a little journal in here. I know that you're going to like that Christian summer camp. So like my intention was like, this was kind of like your Bible or like your journal with like the lessons in it and stuff. You can actually write in this. Um, yeah, you can actually write it and you can hide it too. Um, and then I was thinking this might be Chelsea's room and I put yourself, uh, or you, a punching bag in the corner. Um, don't worry, that's just the bushes coming through the wall. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, um, Brandon's room and uh, I put your guitar in here for you. Um, I was thinking this might be my, my room and I put a camera in the corner and then Dan, I was saying this would be your room, and I put a mic here so you can practice your beatboxing. And I put you a, uh, oh my gosh, basketball. <laughs> I know, I don't know if you play basketball or not. I know you play football, but football is not in The Sims. So anyways, all right. So this next room, which I'm sure you've seen a little bit of, is kind of like where I feel like we would go, um, like, this is where we would be all the time. So it's kind of like a game room, study hall area. I mean, it's half the house. So anyways, here we are. So um, over here I have um, a chessboard and um, darts and uh, in, a, in a video, like an arcade thing that four people can play on. Um, then over here, I have uh, some nice cozy chairs with the fireplace, um, and here's our little library so we can study for our, um, counseling finals. Um, a foosball table and a card table, um, so you can just play, like, regular cards, kind of like poker. And then The Sims has something similar to Jenga. It's called, like, Don't, Don't Kill the Llama, Don't Fear the Llama. Does it say here? Don't wake the llama. Don't wake the llama. Anyways. <laughs> and then, so I know there's seven of us. 
and there's five computers. I really didn't think all five of us would be on at the same time. Plus, I just thought that looked really cute, and <laughs> I didn't want to mess it up. So anyways, so there's our computers. I put wine, because we almost all want to drink wine when we're done with the assignment. Um, I put that since it's like the gaming room, and I just like that picture. So anyways, um, and I'm aware that there are no bathrooms near our bedrooms. And I'm also aware that there are only two bathrooms for seven people. <laughs> but, um, look, guys, th this worked out so perfect. Like, all the bedrooms were, like, the same size. Actually, I think these four might be one square bigger. But, you know, that's just how it works sometimes. So, anyways, um, so, but there are two. It's not like there's just one. <laughs> so, anyways, here's, here's one bathroom. It's kind of a smaller bathroom. And then, um... Oh, oh, I did put the curtain. Okay, okay. And, um, yeah. And then here's the second bathroom. So, anyway, so then we go on to the backyard. What's our view like back here? So, okay, we have a, a decent view. What is that? Oh, I didn't know that was there. Um, I don't know if anyone's an artist, but I thought an easel would be cool um, to have in case someone is. Um, a little grill area, put the walls up, yeah, a little grill area for us and for us to sit. And then this area is just awesome. <laughs> so we have lights, we have a diving board, oh gosh. Um, little scene areas, this is one of those things that like actually like does fire and stuff. Um, I put these down with the intentions of them looking like um, like beach towels and stuff. They're actually yoga mats, um, in case anyone's into into yoga. Um, and then this cool bar, cool light up bar, and then a basketball court because that's kind of like the only sport that um, Sims can play. I mean, there's like treadmills and stuff, but there's not like an actual game you can play. So, anyways, let's go. Where are we at? Here we are. Okay. So, here's what everyone looks like in the game. Um, so anyways, guys, what? Brandon is side-eyeing someone. Me? Ashley? Both of us? Anyways. Um, so guys, <laughs> I would love to, um, do, like, a story or gameplay with our characters. <laughs> um, I would just love it. So, like, we can go to different worlds, we can go to clubs, we can go to bars, we can go to libraries, museums, um, we can have parties at the house, we can, um, we can do, we can go to an alien planet called 6am if we wanted to. Um, Ashley looks upset. Anyways, um, so we can do so many things, um. I mean, we can go on to school, I can make Brandon a teenager, I can make us all young adults, and we can get real jobs, we can get part-time jobs. So if there's something that you want our Sims to do, something that you think would be really cool for our Sims to do, let me know. I would love to, if you want some drama to play out, if you want some of us to fight each other, um, I can also make other sims and drop them into the game so like they wouldn't be part of the household so like i couldn't control them but like if we wanted to make an, like if we wanted to make Teresa or something um i can make her and put her in the world and then have us meet her so like we can invite her over to do stuff with us and everything so um if there's something you guys want me to change about how